Welcome to my latest painting update. This update covers the month of May and uh, I painted 107 miniatures in May for my Crimean War project. So what you're looking at here is this month's painting and last month's painting um, which uh, with the exception of one small group of skirmishers has completed all the infantry for this project. I'm going to go to um, handheld shaky cam so you can see everything. Okay, so there we are. Um, so in two months, that's um, 12 units of uh, infantry at 16 figures a unit and uh, one unit of um, eight skirmishers for the British. There's going to be another unit of French Zouave skirmishers, which I ordered today. Um, that wasn't originally on the list, but can't have the Crimea without Zouaves. So um, now I'll try and figure out which ones I did this month and which ones I did last month. I'm going to stick with wobbly cam, I think, for this one. So, um, all right. So first of all, right at the front, there are the rifles skirmishers. Um, what I did was I bought um, the, uh, where have we gone? The officers. Uh, oh, sorry. A command, two command packs. So now I've got four bases of skirmishers, which is a full unit. Um, so they were like the first things I did, and then I got three units of British infantry. So in the centre here, we got British infantry in shakos. Then we got British infantry in caps, and finally we got British infantry in coats. So there's at least a difference to them, and then. We go over here. Over here, you've got the Guards and Highlanders that I did last month. Back at the other end, got some French. Um, nice change of colour, having the blue jackets. So um, that finishes off the Allied infantry, uh, as I say, except for the French Zouave skirmishers. Allies meant to have two units of skirmishers. All right, so that's the Allies. On to the Russians. So front and centre here is the Moscow Regiment with their um, their red hats. Um, last month I did the, the rear base of these and uh, this month I decided, uh, when I decided that all, all units are gonna be two bases, um, I've done a, a front set with a commander. He's, um, he's just a generic Russian officer because um, there are no command figures for the Moscow Regiment available anyway. So, um, so that brings them up to be a full regiment. Um, these are the last unit of grenadiers I did um, in caps. Um, I think that was, they were done this month. I think the first set of grenadiers, that was these, were done last month. I did notice another difference between grenadiers and infantry though. Previously I said the only difference was the grenadiers have a sword. Um, they do, but they all um, they also have moustaches too, which is, you know, awfully good of them. So, and then um, to bring the Russians up to strength, I did a unit of Russian sailors. And again, they've got infantry command figures, but sticking them in blue coats tends to make them look the part. So I think trying to do a pan back doesn't involve too much motion sickness for you. There we go. So on the right we've got two units of infantry, one in caps, one in helmets, then the Moscow regiment, then two grenadiers, one in caps, one in helmets, and the sailors, and that completes the Soviet infantry. Next up for this project is um, Cavalry and Guns. It's the 1st of June today as I film this and um, I'm nearly finished the first unit of um, Cavalry which are Russian Lancers. Each army is going to have four units of Cavalry and then the Russians have four pieces of artillery and the British have two and then there'll be some commanders figures, some generals um, and that should all be done in the next update. Um, until then, once again, I'm sorry if you're not the least bit interested in the Crimea or sort of this kind of army. Um, you've got another month of this coming and, uh, and then, well, I don't know what I'm doing after that. We'll have to see.
Oh, and I've got some buildings to do. I'm going to be doing some Russian buildings, so that at least will be a bit different. Um, for now, though, that's it for this very quick update. Um, didn't want to dwell on it. Plenty of um, plenty of photos of these miniatures on my website. If you like this content, then please do subscribe, share, click the bell icon, do all those other um, social things we do. And um, a final plug for Twitter. Um, I've been able to achieve all this painting this year and last year thanks to the um, hashtag hobby streak uh, on Twitter where you uh, commit to doing like a half hour on hours hobby every day so I've been doing that for 500 and oh, I don't know 17 18 days now since the beginning of last year without missing a day and just that half hour hour a day has has really um, beefed up my miniatures collection right enough waffle that's definitely it so thanks for watching if you got this far and i'll see you next time